Even though Washington is 8-4 on the season, that was only good enough for third place in the NFC East division. Chicago Robinson has met the 7-win goal this year to secure another year with the team, but now he's trying to lead Washington to a playoff berth in his rookie year. Up until now, only 8 quarterbacks have been able to do that in NFL history. Let's see if Robinson can make it 9 total quarterbacks. As his journey to the playoffs begins with a matchup against Tom Brady, and the Patriots. First and 10, Robinson play action to Terrain. Pressure coming first offensive play. Robinson is going down for a sack as we move to the second quarter, third and 16, check down to Santana Moss. That would be short though. First and 10, still tied 0-0 across the middle. He connects with Santana Moss again. Setting up now a second and four, just under a minute to have to go in the first half. That would be completed to Fred Davis down the right sideline. He has a first down under a minute to go now. Second and two, Robinson right side, complete Leads it to Williams just short of the end zone. And from the one, it would be a handoff to Terrain. He slips one tackle and caps off this drive with a Washington touchdown. As we move to the second half now, up 7-0 over Brady in the Pats. Going left side, that's going to be completed again to Santana Moss. Backed up to a third and 20 now, trying to keep the drive alive. Rolling out to his right, Robinson stops and he's going to throw it away. But we would get a turnover deep in our own territory, and Robinson would take this one in on his feet for a touchdown. Washington would go up 14-0, a handoff to Terrain, trying to close off another drive with a touchdown, and he will do just that. As we would end up walking away with a victory, no problem over Tom Brady and the Patriots. Chicago and Washington are going to take this one 21 to nothing. So with that win, Washington was finally in the playoff picture. If Chicago Robinson and Washington wanted to maintain control of their division, this divisional matchup against the Giants was a must win for them. Starting out with the ball, less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. Robinson stepping up. He's going to take it himself and he picks up the first down on his feet. Second and seven. Start of the second quarter. Robinson back to throw across the middle. That's completed to Santana Moss on the slant route. From the 12 now. Robinson under center. Back to throw to the end zone. Armstrong has it. It looks like it's going to be a close one, though, as the ref comes in and says he has the touchdown. Second and 10 now. New York tied it up at 7 apiece, looking to take the lead back as that's completed to Banks. Setting up a first down inside New York territory. Robinson to the right side. That's going to be completed to Armstrong. He's pushed out of bounds at the New York 16. Third and 12 now. Looking to pick up the first down and get a touchdown here. But they're going to have to settle for a field goal. 10 to 7 as we move to the second half. Washington still with the lead. That's going to be knocked incomplete. They would go three and out to start the third quarter as we move to the fourth. Down by four. That's completed to Austin for a first down. Second and nine now. Moss in motion. Robinson empty backfield. Back to throw. Setting up the halfback screen to terrain. He slips one tackle but is only picking up one. Third and eight now. A big must need conversion here. Robinson gets it off in time but Armstrong can't get both feet in bounds. So we would go down 11 with just over two minutes to go. Robinson trying to complete his second career comeback. That's first and 10, under two minutes to go. From their own 39, right side, that's going to be completed to Santana Moss. Inside New York territory, Robinson back to throw deep across the middle, completed to Santana Moss again. Down to the four-yard line on first and goal, Robinson. He's going to step up, slip one tackle, and take it in himself for a Washington touchdown. As the two-point conversion would be unsuccessful. Down by five, less than a minute to go. Defense would get a stop. And Robinson almost intercepted, but thankfully he wasn't, so he still has a chance to lead a game-winning drive as that's going to be completed to Armstrong into New York territory. Third and 10, 35 seconds left to go from the 38. They need a touchdown, risky throw, but it's completed to Williams. Second and 10 from the 17, Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up, take it at himself, make some defenders miss, and he finds his way into the end zone for a touchdown. And that would give Washington the victory a come from behind 11 point deficit they overcome to win against New York. And of course, with his performance, Robinson would be no doubt named player of the game. Robinson is really starting to solidify himself as Washington's quarterback. Not only does that now give him two game winning drives this year for Washington, but he also has his team holding on to the second seed and the NFC. The Vikings are currently tied with them though at 10 and four for that same spot. So this is another must win game for the rookie this time against the Vikings. Starting out with a first and 10 from their own 43. 
First offensive play of the game is a strike to Armstrong down to the Minnesota 21. Third and goal, Robinson back to throw, but he's going to be hit and dropped for a loss. So Washington would have to settle for a field goal on that promising opening drive. Robinson taking a shot deep, and he's going to be intercepted by the Minnesota defense. We haven't seen many of those from Robinson this year, but he is a rookie and has made some inexperienced throws as that one is almost intercepted as well. So the offense has been having a tough time getting anything going today, but finally a completion to Austin here. That would set up second and 10 from the Minnesota 23. Robinson back throw across left side. That's completed to Davis. First and goal to go from the three. Now third and goal. That's going to be completed. Completed to Santana Moss. Did he get in? And they're going to signal it's a catch for a touchdown. But ultimately, it would be too little, too late, and not enough as the offensive struggles from Washington would cause them to lose this game to Minnesota. And this was by far Robinson's worst statistical game and performance of his career so far. And that loss made it so that we had to win our final game of the season. As a loss in Philly would knock the rookie quarterback and Washington out of the playoffs. Opening up on a first and 10 near the end of the first quarter, Robinson, that's gonna be completed to Austin for a first and goal to go. Down to the one. Second and goal now from the two. Handoff, Williams, he finds his way into the end zone for a touchdown. As Washington would start with a seven to three lead now near the end of the first half. Left side, that's completed to Armstrong along the sideline. First and 10 as we move to the second half now. Robinson completes that one to Armstrong again as he's become one of his favorite targets so far here in the second half of the season. That would bring us to the fourth quarter. First and 10. Robinson is going to be picked off by Parker. They needed a touchdown on that drive. But that interception would allow Philly to score and send this game to overtime as it will be first to score wins. With playoffs on the line for Washington here. Robinson back to throw. And that's going to be Asante Samuel picking him off. And he could take this back. And he will a pick six to win the game. And that is going to be how Washington's season ends. A pick six in overtime for the rookie quarterback. So that heartbreaking loss has knocked Chicago Robinson and Washington out of the playoffs. And the Cowboys will end up winning the division at 10 and 6. Chicago finishes his rookie campaign with 2,455 yards, 22 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions, and was voted to the Pro Bowl where he will cap off his rookie season.